You're listening to I-95, Bangor's classic rock station with Jay Stu and Corey in the morning. Jay Stu and Corey rock. I-95, Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's classic rock station. 95.7 FM. It's Mungray. Look at it out there. <laughs> Delightful. It is. Uh, what, what, what's Toddle say here? Oh, it is going to clear. And we're going to oh, get up near well, 80. Nice. So how about that? 80? Yeah. Get out of town. Uh, Wednesday, supposed to be like 86. Ugh. Yeah, like summer. Thank God oh, we found that. Listen, I hate the heat, but we can't start complaining about it on the very first day. So. No, no, I'm I'm more concerned about the building being like an armpit, but I'm really glad that the You're AC never here. seems to be working. <laughs> I I come on, I came in after you. Are you kidding? I've been here every day for the last like two months. Oh, after congr- you leave, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> but even this studio gets hot. Like the my home studio gets super hot when it's hot too. So I've forgotten about that pleasantry until it started warming up a little, and I was like, oh yeah, this is gross. You should it's pay hot. your kids this summer to just stand in the doorway. Quietly, but fan Family. you. Yeah just, yeah, just, you know, but again, quietly being the operative word. <laughs> they don't, they don't know. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> so. They're like, mom, are you cooled off yet? Yeah, right. Can I go outside? Can I have Kool-Aid? Yeah. This sucks. <laughs> yep. That's about <laughs> the right. The fan part, you know. Yeah. That's what I would say. I'd be like, mom, this wow, sucks. 85. Like, that's nuts. I love it. I love it. And well, and remember, too, we've been talking about how lately the temps have trended upward a little bit. Mm-hmm. So it's like it says 85 for Friday, uh, Wednesday or whatever. <clears throat> Could be 90, yeah. Could be. Because I, hmm. I feel like they do that in the summer times, too. Like, let's just underplay the temperature just a little so that people think it's going to be 80. <laughs> when it's actually going to be, like, you know, closer to 90. Well... We shall see. If you there, you go. If you're looking at the calendar, you're thinking to yourself, "I don't really feel like I want to go to work this day of the week." That would be the day that maybe hooky gets played. Just throwing it out there. Could be. Could mm-hmm. as long as be. it's not Friday, because that's going to be a big day for us here. That's going to be a lot of fun. Don't play hooky on Friday. Well, I mean, do maybe so that it's fun to listen to the radio all day long because it's going to be a blast. But we have our special Olympics request a thought on Friday. I'm looking forward right. to that. We'll talk about that a little later, of course. But yep. uh, what, who, who, what do we have in the matchup today? I already forgot. We got a lovely matchup. We've got uh, Eddie Money's Think I'm in Love that you picked, and then Sunshine of Your Love uh, from Cream is the contender. So right now it's the evenly split. You can vote right now nine nine one nine seven one three. You can hit us up on Facebook. Uh, you can app message us as well. Carrier pigeon smoke signal. Sure. Morse code. Although I'm, I kind of suck at that. Unless it's SOS, I, don't, I really don't know most of Morse code. Yeah. <laughs> so don't SOS us. And you know when you're thinking about. Eddie Money, Cream, you know, like who's gonna who's gonna win? <clears throat> I I have told the story many times about Eddie Money pumping iron yeah. while while he was like like working I'm out sure. and warming up at the same time, mm-hmm. right? Uh, mm-hmm. But Ginger Baker, I will never forget. He had a documentary all about him that was on Netflix, mm-hmm. and the opening scene, the documentarian who Ginger hired showed up at his house. Ginger didn't know who he was, so he punched him in the face. Yeah, see? Yeah. So you can either, you know, get punched in the face by Ginger Baker, or you can work out with Eddie Money. Pumps some iron. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, wow. We'll see. 991-9713. Let's do it. Morning music matchup. Classic rock station. So, um, obviously, I was back here in the studio... And 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 was sort of keeping up, but how how did ton of pasta turn out overall? Oh, out, that uh, was out awesome. Yeah, uh, we we got. I I lost track because I wasn't doing the counting, thankfully. Uh, but we had several cartfuls that ended up going off with uh, Samaritan Inc., which I got their name wrong. Uh, we we thought it was going to be somebody from the the River Church, and it ended up being a, a different agency. But sure, uh, we had Amy there with, which we found out. I'm pretty sure that Amy was one of the uh, the nurses on the. OB floor when I had kids because I'm like, God, she looked familiar. And I'm like, I'm at the end, I'm like, I think she was one of the ones that when I had one of the babies was like, took care of me. So she was a blast. First out of the gate, uh, we had the Graben family show up, um, Tom and his crew. Uh, Garrett, who had donated before it even happened, uh, stopped right. by and donated even more on his way down to the 
the yard sale in Skahegan, so he stopped by. Um, sure. Remember Braden, the little guy who would donate his birthday money worth of... Uh, like he'd come uh, by yeah, with his yeah, mom yeah, yeah, yeah. in Newburgh. He's probably like bring... 19 now or something. I almost didn't recognize him because he's, he's got his hair on his face like most teenagers do. Sure. And, I, and when he like moved his hair aside, I'm like, oh, it's you. Oh, it was awesome. We had a great moment because I, I recognized him finally. and was like, oh, my God, he's back again. So we had a lot of repeat offenders. We had a lot of people uh, stop by. It's funny because doing it now in the Broadway place that we've done it in years and then moving over to, to hogan road um sure man it it was just it, it's a different vibe out there but super awesome vic and his crew and jonathan and, and linda was there uh she stayed the whole time so it was um it was very cool to see people stop by and and give the way that they did and they i mean amy went home with the entire suv she was driving like completely chock full of uh, pasta oh, so we've done our job done. yeah yes and I, would, I would imagine back, Chris really, really Popper. It. I would imagine Chris Popper and DJ Fred down in Ellsworth probably made out like bandits, like they do every year. Like we'll, we'll walk in all proud with like our, you know, seven hundred pounds or whatever. They're like, yeah, we raised, we gathered about eighty eight hundred pounds of pasta while we were there. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, <laughs> shut up. Well, it's a different. It's a different location. It's a different crew. It's like a different vibe. Hey, We're man. just glad that it all worked out. I know. Um, Popper's the, a celebrity people, down there. He is. You know he's that. a celebrity. We're just. Uh, or just mouthpieces. He's the actual celebrity down there. But I know that they did really well over in Brewer and uh, got got a big donation there towards the end, too. So, it's, I mean, it's all going to a, a fantastic cause. And it's just really fun to see everybody stop by and and do that every year. So if you were a repeat offender this year, awesome. Debbie and uh, Scott stopped by, our Rush fans. So they I, I hit up Jordan one of mm-hmm. our from one of our sister stations to see how it was going over at the Broadway Hannaford because he was in our old location. Oh yeah, yeah. All by himself, and uh, he said, "I have at least three boxes." And I was like, <laughs> "Oh, okay." <laughs> I'm sure he did better uh, than that, but I was just like, "Yeah, oh. no, I'm sure he did too." Yeah, but well, he wasn't hey. broadcasting live. He got he got uh, uh, you know co opted by the morning show for for their remote. So oh, that's right. Because Jordan just got the to show. sit there by himself and wave at people. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, if you helped in any way, we appreciate it. And uh, your friends and neighbors appreciate it, too. So Absolutely. Uh, well, let's wrap up the matchup. we got a few minutes here. Go over to the I-95 Facebook page. Hit us up, 991-9713, the app. You get all the spots. We come back. Will it be Eddie Money or will it be whoever the other thing is? I forgot already. Cream. There we go. Woo! Can't yep. believe I pulled that one out. Sunshine of your love. Well yes. done. Well done. All right, get your boats in right now. I-95, Bangor's classic rock station. Jay Stu and Corey here this morning. Hello, hello, hello. It's Lou Gehrig time, everybody. (laughs) Just enjoy this. Today, I'm the happiest man. (laughs) Well, Cream lost terribly. (laughs) Yes. So uh, that's going to go ahead to our battle of the best of the worst, which is weird to think about because it's Cream, but... Uh, we'll have to see what they are going to go up against tomorrow. Figure that out. Hey, it's the way it goes. Mm-hmm. You know, there's losers in life, like this guy, and there's winners in life, like Eddie Money. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy, Cream is a loser. Uh, I, I, I pointed at myself. I was I was excluding Cream, oh, <laughs> cream from that that conversation. I was no, just saying, no. yeah. Anyway. Uh, that wraps up today's matchup. So, uh, today's only Monday. Mm-hmm. I had this, I had this fantasy that somehow I, I slept through it all and today was like <laughs> Thursday, something like that. No, oh, no, well. but, but the, the weekend coming up obviously is Memorial Day weekend. We're going to yeah. do the, I think the top 500 countdown. So mm-hmm. that'll be happening. Uh, of course we're going to kick that off on Friday, uh, with our request a on, which yep. is going to be great. Uh, and I was in the, the studio yesterday. I had to return the MJ rig, and I noticed that I had stocked up some stuff. I was like, I'm going to make sandwiches and stuff on Friday. It's going to be great. And then I realized we've got a mouse up there, I think. Oh, yeah? Because my, uh, my my buns, my rolls, I had, I had like baggied a couple of these rolls in a Ziploc bag. And the, when I got into the office, I'm like, why are my rolls on the ground? And I pick them up, and something had chewed right through the plastic. I, no, I think that's the sports guys. They're just, you know. <laughs> yeah, they took a, a bite or two out of my, out of my uh, little, well, little bulky rolls. They're pretty much feral, 
You know, yeah, like that's true. those dudes are. I mean, they're just like, oh, baseball. <laughs> I so I, I think it's them. I think they. I think they took him up like a puppy. I think they thrashed him around like this, and then I think they dropped them on the floor. Sure, looks like somebody did, and it was that. That was the only thing that got hit. Yeah, because everything else. I mean, I've got everything else in like Tupperware or you know sealed drawers or whatnot. But I was like, oh, I've never seen any any um, evidence, if you will, of that in yep. the office. Because I look, because I'm I'm pretty I'm a pretty clean person when it comes to that. But what's weird is yep. I've I've I. This is just my assumption, not not like this is not based in reality. I assumed that mice wouldn't chew on plastic. Like I thought they'd be like, bleh, 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 bleh. nope, nope, but they then did. I don't know what we've got, but it's it, oh no, it probably to... I'm probably wrong. That, that, mm. that, that, I'm saying that oh, mice, mice that. can chew through like so much. Oh, I know yeah. they can, but I know there's things they don't like to like they uh, they say like the little holes and stuff in your wall fill with tin foil or steel wool because mm. they don't like the metal on their on their teeth. I should have done that. I should have just coated the rolls in that first and then stuck just, them You know what? Take down everything in your office and wrap the whole thing in tinfoil. <laughs> and you'll be all set. Uh, no problem. It'll be bright and cheery in there. It'll be like living inside a camera flash. No. no. <laughs> I'm, be just, uh, I'm just going to keep everything in the fridge. That's all. Well, you could do that too. Yep. Why not? But that that makes me want to go check all my snacks in the other room. Too. You're gonna probably want to. Yeah, I, I sent a little note out. I was like, I think I have a mouse, and I took a picture of the roll with a little bite out of it, and like the that looked like it went through the bag. Yeah. Oh, is that is that the technical term for it? Yep. How do you spell? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. How how do you spell that? I'm just some curious. Some T's and some S's, and maybe some P's. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you. I've learned Whirly a lot like today. just willy nilly it. Science and, hour uh, with Corey. Ladies and gentlemen, science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great at math, great at spelling, great, great at science. Yes. Follow me for tips. <laughs> Some of the letters in science are also in Corey. <laughs> there you the go. I. <laughs> no, the C. And the C. Yeah, yep, just no O silent. or R. That's all. <laughs> Some of the letters, just not the or. <laughs> <laughs> all right when we come back we've got uh we have all sorts of new things to talk about stuff uh that we got to get going this week and everything so stay right here i-95 jay stew and Corey on bangor's classic rock station 95.7 fm monday everybody congratulations <laughs> yeah you made it here oh boy you made it through the weekend that was great so proud we of you got a fun a fun thing though happening today kicking off that we had to remind ourselves of because it was you know monday and something new <laughs> Monday so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't dropped anything yet. Knock on wood. I mean, it's still early. It's, it's going to happen. Let's oh, be honest. God, yeah. but, uh, that's usually a sign for me that it's Monday. It's like I'll, I'll drop the contents of my pocketbook as I'm getting out of the van. And I'll be like, yeah, oh, of sure. course. <laughs> like the whole dish of uh, uh, little little container of dog carrots that I spilled in the fridge yesterday. <gasps> mm. They're all cut up for his little treats because he loves carrots. Uh-huh. And uh, I didn't put the lid on, right? Went to put it back, bumped it, and it was like, it just threw up <laughs> carrots into the fridge. I was like, oh, my God. And you know what? Yeah. I'm proud of you because it's like go big or go home in that moment. And you went big. You oh, I did. You just went all the stuff. Yep. Like, it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was, a, it was like the chef's kiss to my afternoon. Uh-huh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But, well, yeah. this is a, a go big or go home situation. I love this. I didn't even realize. I knew about the Def Leppard part of it. I did not realize that the rest of it. So there's this mega summer summer stadium tour that's going on. You can say tour. summer. It's all right. Summer. A mega summer stadium tour. It's featuring Def Leppard, Journey, and Steve Miller Band. And we're going to kick that contest off today uh, with codes. Again, at 9, at noon, and at 3. Mm-hmm. So you'll have three different codes to listen for. That same tour is actually also coming to Boston. No way. Yes. Well, but... <laughs> All right. It's Def Leppard and Journey, but at Fenway Park, the other band is Heart. Ooh. So just throwing that out there for a little road trip idea that, you know, this if you don't win this contest, you're all is not lost. If you really wanted to see Def Leppard and Journey together, they're going to play at Fenway Park this summer. With a small little kick-ass group of gals called Heart. <laughs> gals and <laughs> guys. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So no big. keep listening. No, yeah, only only you know legendary rockers together yeah, on the no stadium big deal. tour. <laughs> no big these deal. Guys, 
the great thing is that, you know, these guys have done stadium rock tours their entire life. Yeah. So it's not like they're the noobs out there. They know how to rock it out well. Now, granted, they probably also aren't rocking as hard backstage as maybe they did in their heyday. I think they've learned a thing or two, but... Yeah, these days, in, in, instead of cocaine, it's like like Ensure Plus and yeah. protein powders <laughs> and things like that. Yeah, joint, gee, they're just snorting straight up joint help. <laughs> yeah. yeah, chondroitin or whatever that yeah. stuff is called. <laughs> instead of rolling joints, they're back there, you know, smoking like, you know, mm-hmm. nothing but... I don't even know what. I'm trying to think of something healthy that you could smoke. I don't even know what there is. <laughs> it's all lettuce. They're just like, it's lettuce wraps. Mm-hmm. All, I don't know. But well, that would be the pretty awesome. Is this. That's happening. You're going to want to listen. Nine at noon and at three uh, for those codes. And uh, this should be a fun fun way to spend the summer. Yeah, the, absolutely. Uh, what is it called again? The Mega Summer Stadium Rock Tour. Yes, uh, Bob. Super mm-hmm. sweet. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so listen up for that. That'll be soon enough. What? First code's less than two hours away. Correct. So listen up for that a little later on this morning here on I-95. I-95, Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's Classic Rock Station. So I'm looking at your uh, article from, oh, it looks like it was Friday or whatever, about Skeeters. Oh, yeah. Skeeter bats. Because, you know... <laughs> We're in that place. I was out at camp a bunch of the day yesterday. Yeah, you were. And uh, the bugs out there are otherworldly. It's like supernatural how many mosquitoes and black flies seem to find you. I mean, it's the mm. woods. You know, you, you can't help it. But just the same. It's just. <sighs> I went out yesterday for a little bit. We met with some friends of it at one of the parking lots and we did some walking around and I kept thinking, oh, God, I'm going to have to bring the bug spray. I Boy, what is it? You just you spent all day in a parking lot on Saturday, so you needed to go to another one on Sunday. <laughs> well, no, this was like a place that was kind of tucked off in, in the way so the kids could could run around and the moms could walk because Lord sure. knows I certainly haven't had a chance to do much exercising as of late. So it was good. Got a mile or two in. Uh, but but my first thought was it's six o'clock, six thirty on a, you know, a summer evening almost. It's going to get buggy. And mm-hmm. uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought, but I'm I was thinking about that, and uh, I know that I have two kids that just swell right up. They're allergic to real bad sure, to bug sure. bites. And so what are the tried and true ways to kind of, A, treat them, but even better than that, like prevent them? Have you ever done, I mean, I know obviously off is a thing, and yeah. we've I've, I grew up using that, and then Skin So Soft, the sure. uh, Avon. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Everybody tough. had in the 80s, but years ago... Um, when I was kind of doing some research, because I wanted to find something I could also spray on the dog. Cause oh, kept, yeah, that's getting, legit. You know what I mean? And I was like, I, if I can put it on my small kids and dogs, that would be good. And there were there were some recipes that I came across, and I put them in this link, too, for, like, natural bug spray. And believe it or not, when I started using that stuff, especially because my concern was not only bugs but, like, ticks, uh, it was it worked really well for ticks. I was surprised. Are you going to say there's, what it is, or are you just going to set well, it up for like 19? You're, you know, you're, you're coming off like a recipe on <laughs> Pinterest right now. You know what I mean? It's like, well, the first time I had Larb Guy was when I was touring Vietnam back <laughs> when I was 17, right? Up well, in, it's a, oh. like a mixture, and, and they've been, you know, you can click on it, but it's like witch hazel, um, glycerin, which is, you know, the binding agent, mm-hmm. um, and some like different oils and stuff. Now, some oils you have to be really careful with, like tea tree oil is not good for dogs. Right. Um, uh, certain things like that are not good for dogs, but like there are ones that are really effective. Lemongrass uh, oil, uh, some some people put lavender in it. Just things that that kind of don't like peppermint is a big thing too with spiders. Apparently, they don't like that. So I'm like, yeah. hey, my kids mice actually don't like peppermint mice. that much. Either. We need to spray the upstairs in peppermint then, so they'll stay away from my buns. Those mice. You know what? If you just throw all, if you just fill the attic with peppermint patties, mm-hmm. the mice will all go there. You think so? Oh, sure. It'll smell mm-hmm. nice, and then mm-hmm. they'll just go eat them and make more mice. They don't mice. like peppermint, though. It's a repellent to them, so kidding. they're going to stay away. But it's candy! <laughs> but, yeah, basically, there, there are things that you can do. And then, you know, and it's funny because I, I had uh, we had a little friend over for the, the weekend for my, my daughter, and she got stung by a bee, and Ooh. it reminded me. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. You got, you know, the baking soda paste that you put with a little bit of baking soda and water on bee stings, and it helps with that. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do that doesn't necessarily require all of the chemicals. I mean, if the chemicals work for you, go for it. Yeah, all right, but, whatever. You, you do know, you. if you've got tiny ones or grandbabies or dogs, there are certain things that you can put on that uh, that will be as, as helpful. 
Well, check it all out. We got the we got the deets. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> the, uh, 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 the you know, like deets. Deet. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I, I got know, it. I know, yeah. I know, I know. Anyway, that's over at i95rocks.com. <laughs> I-95, Jace doing Corey on Bangor's Classic Rock Station. I don't know if you've seen this going around on social media, but there's a big kerfuffle in Portland. So this dude owns one of those Tesla trucks, right? One of those Which I've seen trucks. up here, by the way. And they're, they're, yeah. they're not trucks. Well, there's two in Maine. So maybe someone up here owns one. I don't I, I don't know. But they, I saw one right in front of that Nest place in downtown Bangor, sure. like, I want to say, three weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> But this guy in southern Maine, poor guy, it's like all he did was buy the thing you know what i mean mm-hmm. and drives it but like people flick him off people like like they uh, <laughs> they are seriously what? rude to this guy right just because he owns a tesla because he owns a tesla truck so <laughs> i i'm on reddit because i'm just cruising around looking for stuff <laughs> and i i literally cannot tell if this is real or not because basically it's it looks like a flyer the headline says come mock it in person <laughs> no and then it says, come check out the Cybertruck. Get it up close and learn what it's all about. Bring the whole family with you. <laughs> and then it says on the bottom, it says, is it a car? Is it a truck? Why does it look like that? What's it made of? <laughs> <laughs> so, and there's a phone number. There's an address. Interesting. You know, so it's like, is this real? Can, can you really go have like a touch a Cybertruck event with this guy? This one guy who's just like, stop flipping me off. You can do it. You know, I don't even know whatever. if it's that guy. This could be like the local Tesla dealership or something like that. But it's, or like his neighbor. Like he's parked out in front right now. I'll charge admission. Here we go. Yeah. Why not? Interesting. Huh. I think it's hilarious. I want to believe it's real. I, I want to believe this peop- that someone is just letting the public go through their cyber truck for three hours. I mean, I do it. If I, if, it's a fun way to flip hate on its head, you know. I suppose. I suppose. I guess if you're going to get that much of a, I don't know, wow. I, they are weird. And I do, I, I mean, I do want to learn more, but I'm not going to get mad at somebody because they've bought one. Like, what's the deal with I that? Mean, Why I, are you doing to that? To me, it's like, I mean, they're, they're unique, but it's just like, what, what do I mm-hmm. need to know? It's an electric vehicle. You plug it in, it charges up, you drive it, you know, it's like. Well, it looks like, it's funny because it looks like an armored car almost no it looks like a drawing a fifth grader makes of a truck that's what that looks like it's like look dad i drove a space truck i'm gonna be a mechanic someday it does it is a space truck i mean it it is called a cyber truck but it literally it looks like the the kind of drawing a kid would make the first day they got like a protractor or Mm -hmm. like one of those you know a set of rulers and and all that stuff like a you know, one of those types of deals. This would yep. be the first vehicle they drew. Like, I'm going to use the oh, round yeah. thing to make the wheels. Yeah. I'm going to use the yeah. angle thing to make the front. <laughs> yeah. It is a, it's a weird looking vehicle. It does not look like a truck. I would not. I, no. I can't believe they call that a truck because there's no open end in the back. No, I, I think on the design team for this thing, there's no one over 11 years old. That's what that, I that think. That could be. Phineas and Ferb designed that truck right there. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's what it is. This was made, this was designed by Doug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is a cyber truck. This is the Rugrats Mobile. So, <laughs> holy crap. It's a Raptor Mobile. <laughs> so here's the thing. Uh, one week from today, if you happen to be in South Portland, you apparently can go to Broadway, uh, Broadway in South Portland, uh, Broadway Variety in particular, and see this truck in there person. You go. Okay, you should you should put something up together on that. That's fantastic. Yeah, it says come mock it in person. What else would you do? You know, I mean, I guess Point I wouldn't left. say anything. I'd, I mean, I'd show up it. and be like, "Hey, cool truck, bro." Yep. <laughs> uh, nice job, kid. Thanks for the design. Anyway, <laughs> when we come back, of course, uh, it's well. There's still some other stuff we're going to talk about at the website too. And you're just a little over an hour away from your first, your very first. Def Leppard and Journey Code. Mega Summer Stadium Rock Tour, yeah. Bob. you got to complete the trifecta there, and you got to say Toa. You can't Toa. say You can't say Mega Summer Stadium Rock Tour. You can't, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not allowed. That's not allowed. All right. We'll be right back.